Ah, yes, the BLT, perhaps one of the most well-balanced sandwiches in the sandwich kingdom. Join me today as we take a deeper look into the perfect construction of this beautiful delight. It's Black Hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods, yeah. So for me guys, a BLT is all about perfectly cooked bacon. In order to achieve that, we need to lay it flat on a tray, cooking sheet, into the oven, 350, about 20 minutes. Next, we roll up a wood, and by wood I mean iceberg lettuce. We shred it into angel hair pasta style strips. Look at that knife go, okay? Next, what you wanna do is massage it, because they say that the love and the flavor of cooking comes from within the body, and this is the transference of that. Next, tomato slicing. For me, it's all about uniform, thin strips, slices, whatever you want to say. I'm not good at words, but sometimes I am. But I'm not good at math because I can't tell you how thin those are. Maybe an eighth of a centimeter. I'm not sure. What I do know is that I can make them all pretty much uniform, and that's what we're really looking for here. So if this guy would finish up and stack these nicely on a plate, we could move forward. Next, it's season, season. You must hit them with salt and pepper. I prefer like a granulated salt, like a sea salt, not this table salt, I'm not into it. Freshly cracked pepper, those tomatoes are gonna pop. Of course, we have to butter the bread for toasting. Have it be at least room temperature. Otherwise, you're gonna tear this bread up. It's not gonna be nice. So make sure your butter is at a good temperature for spreading. Next, we slap them on the griddle. Everybody's here, it's tight. We're all having a cuddly, toasty sleepover. Next, because I don't have enough butter and I'm too lazy to run back upstairs, I just use another fat, which is mayo. So I'm gonna do the other side and we're gonna toast both sides of these. Now, we lay these nicely toasted breads out and we start to construct. So I want the inside toasted because I don't want all the juices and everything to sog out the inside of the bread. So we lay down a nice mayo layer here, as you see, as adhesive. Adhesive for what? For this bed of lettuce. You pat in the lettuce, you make a nice, cozy, almost nest, if you will. And we lay these tomatoes very, very gently. Treat them with respect, okay? Like you would a fine date. Next, we bring in the king. Arguably the star of the sandwich, but we can't say that because a BLT, like I said, is about balance. And with balance, everything's important. In the back, you'll see I love mayo, and so does a BLT. So we must put it on and conceal the deal. Flip it, lightly pat, twist into diagonal, and cut sandwich diagonal. Because we all know that sandwiches cut diagonally, they what? They taste better. We reveal the center, and we see the crown jewel of simple sandwiches. Hey yo, what up world? What's good with y'all? Hope you're doing very well. I'm back with another one today. And in front of you, you find yourself in front of a wall of BLTs. And very rarely do you find yourself having to eat through a wall of BLTs. But if there was one wall I'd want to eat through, it would be a BLT wall. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm 26 hours fasted, I'm starving. And before we do anything more, we must pour. Today we are going in with the A&W. The local grocer was slacking on their pimpin' when it came to the duck pee. Ooh, and that ice is getting very cocky. This ice got an attitude, might as well call it Ice Cube from that West Coast gangsta shit. I'm trying to spill over, I'm not into that, but we'll make it work. I do love me a good a w root beer though. We know this about me. If 
the dock P has to be replaced by anything or anyone, it's an AW root beer. <sighs> yeah. Mm. Just that like caramely flavor that we have. So good. Okay, so as you can see, I got some pickles there lined up. I got the BLTs. So beautifully designed. They are a goddess unicorn sandwich of the night. And I'm just going to dive right in because I am that hungry. Before we go, perfect toast. That bread. Nice layering. It is ideal. Perhaps we should open up the floor though. Open up the stage. For a beautiful performance. All right. Very, very, very excited for this. Mm. <clears throat> what more can I say? Because I didn't say anything. Speechless. Kloss and pickle. Kosher dills. My absolute favorite type of pickle, a kosher dill, along with a sandwich like this. Amazing. I love to cut them in these tiny little spears too. Perfect. Okay. So as you guys could tell by that intro there, that little Harvard University of BLTs. This is my favorite way. This is my ideal BLT. A nice classic, like white, little country style loaf. Decently thin. That bed of lettuce. Just the salt and pepper for seasoning. No crazy extras on it. And a bite of a pickle. I did, however, bring some mozzarella cheese slices. catch a bunch of flack all these people in the comments saying how they like their BLT <clears throat> different certain ways that's cool you do you boo to each their own
lot to say today. It's just that good. Could be also the fact that I fasted so long. And I've already had a really productive day. <clears throat> even before this video. Shot some other videos. <clears throat> some uh, just talking. Telling you some deep truths of my life. On like a new series that I kind of want to have on the channel. Truth be told, it'll be called. where I <clears throat> expose more of myself, I guess, or of my life in like long, kind of long, long winded chats. We'll see how they do. I feel like they won't perform as well as delicious BLTs, but you never know. But to me, I think it's pretty obvious <clears throat> that people come here a lot for the food, which is fine. It's always been a food channel. You guys know I'm disgusting and brought extra mayo, right? Why is it better with extra mayo? <clears throat> Damn. Because it's fat. Probably that's why I'm in heaven. Man, these are good. I got the wild shoulders today. That never happens. So it must be good. Let's take this thing into the end zone. Finish this off right.
when I was making them, I knew I was going to finish. I felt it in my soul. The last perfect bite. <clears throat> nice and juicy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That was bliss. I was on some real heaven shit. <clears throat> I didn't have a ton to go over on that one because I just had to eat. Till the next one, you know what to do. Eat good, live well. Stay true. <laughs>